polynomial identities as complex numbers. Understand that we can factor out quadratic equations. When factoring, we know some rules that apply to all polynomials. For example, the difference of squares rule says that if we have a squared minus b squared, we can factor that out to a minus b, a plus b. We don't technically have a sum of squares rule in the real number system. However, we can apply a sort of sum of squares rule to the complex number system. What I mean by this is if we are given a squared plus b squared, we can factor that out into a plus b i times a minus b i. So I call this the sum of squares rule, but it only applies to the complex number system because we have to have an i in there. Okay, so if there is an i, then that means it has to be a complex number. Well, let's do some examples. Rewrite as complex numbers. All right, so we have x squared plus 9. So we know that we have an x squared plus 3 squared, but it's a plus, so it's not a difference of squares. So we're going to apply this sum of squares rule, and we take our a term, which is our x, or it's a plus bi and a minus bi. So in this case, my a is going to be my x, and my b is going to be my 3. So my final answer would be x plus 3i and x minus 3i. So now we have factored out that quadratic equation. Okay, now this next one, again, we want to separate it out. This time it's a little different because there's a number before our x term. Okay, and this is not a perfect square. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. 2x squared, because if we distribute that 2, that square, into both the 2 and the x, then we would have 4 and x squared. So that's what we wanted. Plus the square root of 21 squared, because square root of 21 squared is just going to be 21. So we have figured it out. So now we want to figure out our a and figure out our b. Our a would be right there, and our b is going to be the 20 square root of 21. So now to actually write it out, my a term is 2x. So we're going to take 2x plus my b term times i and 2x minus my b term times i. So my b term was the square root of 21, so i square root of 21. And i square root of 21. So now we have factored out that quadratic equation. So those are your notes over polynomial identities as complex numbers. Very similar to things we've done in the real number system, just a little different. We have to apply them to a complex number. Go through the practice problems, get comfortable with doing all these different types of simplifications, and then you can take your quiz.